Buck Sock Jamboree. It's amazing how God works and brings people into your life. I wrote an article for the Battle of the Bulge magazine some months ago, and then I get a call when I'm in Canada on vacation. And it's a guy named Buck Sloan. He says, hello, are you, are you the guy who wrote that article? I said, yes, sir. He said, i got to meet you. So I, I fought the Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> well, I'm in Canada, and he's down here in Texas. I'm on vacation, but we hooked up several months later, and we've become friends ever since. It's yeah. especially uh, important for people like us. You see, we're not born in America. We're here because these men went down there and fought in our land to give us the freedom. So we're here, and we have a special love for these guys. Now, this gentleman here, I just met him this evening. He's a B-17 man. Now those B-17s, they flew over our village for days. And my brothers used to tell me stories. He said, Robert, we could watch those B-17s come over. Woo, woo. And then the Spitfires would come over. And then the M-109, they fought right over our village. Wow. Four years of Nazi occupation. And then the very last battle of World War II, the bloodiest battle of all, is when these young men came and these guys flew over our village and they kicked the Nazis ass. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't mean to say that. And he's uh, a bleep, preacher. And he's bleep, a preacher. Bleep, bleep that. that. Bleep that. Yeah. Bleep yeah. that. <laughs> you know. By the way, that was one of our main areas to go across the Viter Sea. Yeah. Yes, was a, yeah. That's a, how many uh, missions did you fly over there? 37. 37 missions in a B-17. Mm -hmm. That's outstanding, sir. Yeah. Uh, it's a privilege for me to hug this guy. And this guy over here. Look at Battle of the Bulge, man, right here. Now this is unique because this motorcycle, uh, I could have sold it. It's an antique and I hope it stays here, but I wanted Buck to have it. And the reason is, folks, because this is my brother. He's 87 years old. When he was 13 years old and Buck was 19 fighting in the bulge, not far from where we were living and growing up, that's what my brother looked like, and that's what Buck looked like. And so my brother, two things he wanted to do when he left Belgium, we got out of the war scene, he wanted to join the army, which he did. And so he's saluting all the Battle of the Bulge and all the World War II vets here in America, down there in Canada, with his old army suit on. So that's why this is so important to me, because I love America. I've always wanted to be here, okay? And uh, for me, it's just so cool, I, whatever I want to say, to be with these big gentlemen right here. Imagine that they're, I've had him at my place for breakfast 75 years ago. We didn't know each other. And yet they're fighting close to our village and I'm eating breakfast with them that many years later. I think that's, thank God for that, amen? So we, we love the, the Jamboree. We're looking forward to bringing our museum down here. And I handed some of you out a little flyer. If you can, you support us because we're bringing that thing down here, Buck. And I'm going to help you. We're going to market this thing. And we're going to fill this place. And you're going to help us film this place because we're going to have a special night called God Bless America. Yeah. And we're going to have Marines here. We're going to do the whole nine yards. And we're going to do a couple of months ahead. We're going to market it. We're going to bring the rig here, bring some music. I'm going to bring some music. And we're going to have. It we're going to be here, Billy. What's that? It'll be country. It'll be country. Okay. <laughs> It'll be country. Let me tell you, because this is a very important time in America's that's right. history. You're right. It really is. When they start pulling full-term babies, that's right. Daddy, that that's nothing. That's like Nazi Germany. Yeah. This is America. You are Americans. Yes. I'm here because of Americans. That's right. And so therefore, you've got to stand up and you've got to vote that's right. to make sure that those who support the Constitution right. of America are going to be running that's our country. Right. And so right. don't forget Amen. that. That's very important. I thank that's you for right. your time. I'm sorry if I get excited, but these are the guys right here, right there, second in three, second to none, B-17. Appreciate it, man. Yes. Yes. Yeah, man. I'm a yeah, special guy, man. Thank you, sir.